What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict. Bringing my top picks for today, Wednesday, MLB, DraftKings, main slate. All right, guys, so on the screen, you're going to see my top plays, guys. So let's just get right into it, man. Uh, we got an eight-game slate on today's slate. All right, so that pitch, I'm going with Aaron Nola, guys. All right, this guy has a .97 whip and ERA of 2.58, guys. He's 3-1. and one. He averaged around 18 DraftKings points, but he's in a clutch matchup versus Miami. He's a right-handed pitcher. If you go look at the splits leaderboard, Miami is right here. Batting, uh, actually, they have a uh, 24, pretty much a 25% strikeout rate. They have a uh, WRC plus of a 70 and an ISO of 0.095, guys. All righty. And their WOBA is only at 0.271, guys, which means they're not getting on base versus right-handed pitchers, man. So I like Nola's chances in this spot, and he's my uh, favorite pitcher uh, on the slate. So I'm, I'm rolling with him, guys. All right, Matt Adams. I played him last night, and as you can see on the on board, he went off for 35, man. Hit a double dome, hit two home runs, guys. All right. But I'm getting back on the bandwagon on this one, guys. Um, I just like his chances. He has another plus matchup. So if we go over to uh, Draft Dashboard, all right, and we go over here to our uh, first baseman in the position optimizer, and I'll sort it by draft rank. And you see my man, Matt Adams, right here has a 51% advantage, guys. He's batting a .95 OPS versus righty, and uh, Nova is giving up the uh, – Highest OPS versus lefty, so that's a match made in heavy. All right, so I like him. Thompson and Adams. Let's go on to the next one. All right, in that same game, guys, I really like this Washington team, guys. Of course, they put up 15 points last night, so they'll probably be popular. But also, another guy a little, little further down the order is Bryce Harper, man. This guy here is a righty master, guys. I like him. I'm going to go ahead and roll with him, guys. He's 5.1K. He's a little high, but he has nine home runs on the season, guys, and he has an OPS, so... 1.04, but um, just kind of stacking him with uh with Adams. All right, I expect one of these guys to, to go off and, and put up some uh, good points, so I, I want both of them in my lineup. That's just me personally, though. All right, next up, Travis Shaw at third base. He's in a good spot. All right, so if you look at his year-to-date numbers, guys, he has 16 RBIs, quite a few home runs, all right? He's averaging eight fantasy points, right? But, again, I like his chances today. All right, so if I go to my third base here, and let's look at Shaw's number, guys. He has a 63% advantage, guys. I can't ignore that. Shaw's batting his best um, ball versus righties at a .877 OPS, as you can see on the screen. And Luis Castillo is giving up a .995 OPS to lefties, which is what Shaw, uh, Shaw is. All right. Now, this guy, or actually that team is a high strikeout team in Walker, that is. But as you can see, this guy hits well versus uh, righties and the uh, pitchers giving up to lefties. So. I like it. And he's by far, as you see, on the, uh, when it comes to the uh, third base, he has the best spot. So I'm rolling with Shaw. All right. So next up is going to be Machado. Man, this guy's been hot. Okay, guys, look at his look at his boy, guys. 14, 12, 10, 21. All right. So he's been hot over the last few games. Uh, again, I want to ride the hot hand. All right. So when it comes to Machado, again, he's in a good spot. Let me go back over here to draft dashboard, guys, my research tool. Let me go to shortstop. And you see he's right here at the top with a 14% advantage. But look at those numbers, guys. A .965 OPS. And the uh, pitcher's giving up the most to the righty at a .999 OPS, guys. So, again, you see that little fire flame there, too, because he has a little high streak going on. So, I'm rolling with Machado. Next up is Mancini, guys. And this one right here is, again, kind of like a little mini stack again because uh, I think Machado, let me go over to my lineups. Uh, yeah, Machado's batting third. Mancini's batting leadoff, which means he's going to get at least uh, four shots at the uh, at a hit. All right, now I know Vegas said it's only 3.4 run total, but again, Vegas has been wrong, and this is MLB, man. Anything can happen. We got seven mile power. We ain't going out outwards, guys. But if you look at Mancini, all right, he's a first baseman. All right, I believe he's at the top of the uh, board when it comes to the uh, draft. Yep, there you go. He has a 50% advantage, guys. He has a 1.194 OPS versus lefty, which means he's hitting his best versus lefty by far. All right, and as you see, he is giving up a .999. So, again, I like him and Machado, so I'm just going to lock them both in because this guy's on 3.6K. So, all right, so if you lock in those players, guys, you leave you 4,700. Now, you won't be able to afford two stud pitchers, but 
Let me give you a couple of people that I like. All right, so if you look at uh, pitchers today, guys, you got a lot of good options, man. You got Strasburg at the top in the good spot versus Pitt. You know, um, that's that's a possible play there, guys. You got DeGrom versus ATL. He has a positive history for, for him. All right, you see right here, he put up 32 on him last time. All right, so that's a good play as well. But again, the MLB, you got a lot of variance. Except Reno versus Houston. Don't know if I would go there, but uh, that's a possibility. You know, Houston has his days where, you know, they can't hit anything. So um, that's a possibility. But, um, of course, I like Paxson. I think Paxson's going to be the cash cash uh, pitcher of the night. All right. I, I hear his name a lot in a lot of the videos now. But this is my guy right here that I want for my SPT. I'm going to be honest, guys. It's Bundy. All right. He had a good game versus him last time. He's only faced him once. This is the second time facing him. But like Bundy, man, look at his game, log, guys. 28, 17, 28, 23, 26. He had one bad game, guys, versus Tampa Bay. All right, but I'm going to give him a shot at 7.8K versus uh, the Angels. All right, so if you like him, in at least 3,600 for each plate left. All right, guys, but remember it's MLB, lots of variance. You know, anything can happen. So, hey, you look at the players, you pick the players that you like, and hopefully they go off. Because like I said, guys, you could have somebody in a great spot and they put up a big old donut. But um, all right, guys, so that's all I got for you today, guys. Uh, for anybody that's still around, here's a nice little surprise for you. So uh, this draft dashboard uh, app that I use to do a lot of my MLB research, in the link of this, I mean, in the description of this video is a link for a seven-day trial for one buck. All right, guys, so just go to the description, click on the link, go ahead and sign up, and that'll give you a seven-day trial. If you like it, you keep it. If you hate it, cancel it. You only got one buck. But again, guys, it's pretty awesome because as you go through here and you watch your players by clicking this little radio button right here to watch players, if you go to your watch players list, they'll be loaded in here. And as a bonus, if you sign up through my link, if you click on watch DK Addicts picks, the players that I like or watch will show up on your player pool as well. And then you can go to the lineup optimizer here and let it build your lineup. All right. As you see, see, it likes Bundy as well. All right. And if you want to upgrade any players, you kind of click right here. Let's say you don't like Mancini. You got options here, guys. And it kind of gives you some of the little information right here on the screen as well. And if you like the lineup just click save lineup and it'll be loaded over into your save lineups guys so all right well good luck on today's slate and i'll see you guys on the next video man